check out this really cool groom's cake. I'm going to show you how to make this in the video, so stay tuned. First, I got a great edible image from Lindsay's Sweet Treats. I'll leave the link below. The cake sizes are 12 inch square and 6 inch square. It's my vanilla cake recipe, but with added eggs because the bride and groom wanted a yellow cake. Here I'm measuring because I'd like to just keep the inner part of the cake and I'm just cutting off the edges of the cake to form the shape of a bottle. The smaller cake will be the bottle top or the neck of the bottle. I had to make a custom base for this cake out of cardboard and this is simple syrup. create a nice extra touch to a cake and a little bit of extra moisture, use simple syrup, which is just one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and you cook it for 10 minutes. Now I'm making a little part here to put the bottleneck into, so I want it to be one piece. Lots of strawberry buttercream. It's my Italian marine buttercream and I added strawberry preserves. Now I realized I wanted the bottle to be higher. So I used all those pieces, just kind of pieced them all together on there, and it worked out perfectly. And now for the fun, messy part. You get to cut the cake. I used a cake knife or a bread knife. Just follow along with me if you'd like to make a bottle cake of your own. You can always refer to the video. For the smoothing part, this is definitely the most challenging. My husband Scott brought me home this piece of plastic and I thought that I could use this to 
get the cake really nice and smooth and get around all the corners, but it really didn't work that well. So I tried that first and then I moved on and went to back to the spatula. And eventually back to my scraper tool, also known as a bench scraper. All the tools that I use in my videos are in my Amazon shop and the link is below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Click that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. All right, here's the cake. It still needs to be smoothed a little bit more. A rubber spatula works pretty well. I just move it around on the cake which kind of warms up the buttercream just a little bit and smooths it out pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's a pretty good solution. A little bit of the hand for the warmth of the hand also helps. Now with the edible image, I cut off all the edges and then I realized, because it's my first time using an edible image, in order to get that image away from the plastic underneath, I had to use a sharp tool. It goes right onto the buttercream and then you can smooth it out a little bit with your hands. I learned from Lindsay that you can touch it in the beginning just a little bit you can actually move it around which I did here and I was kind of afraid to press on it too much so I did end up with a few little creases and bubbles but it really didn't seem to matter. Orange was perfect for the top because the actual Tito's bottle has an orange cap on it. And to finish it off, I used a little fork action there. And then here is a a large star tip, M, a 1M, and I'm just covering up that cardboard there so it finishes it off nicely. And then I thought, wouldn't it look really nice if I finished off the label? So I did that with a smaller star tip. And there's nothing better than a happy bride and groom. They absolutely loved this cake. What a beautiful couple. Congratulations.